I had so much anxiety every time I thought about the outside world and then when I actually did go to the grocery store I was convinced I had it for a week like so convinced you can watch those vlogs I was convinced but now that I haven't been going I've kind of released a lot of that strong anxiety I have anxiety but it feels more distant It is almost one o'clock. You saw us making breakfast. We ate it and then I've just been working. I had a little bit of paid work and then a bunch of charity work, volunteer work for an animal rescue site. And oh, nothing was going right. So I'm just like in this uh, headspace and the kids are being super loud and annoying and messy. <laughs> so time to reset, unfortunately. It is cloudy and cold. I can't go out for a walk, but we're gonna have lunch and hope for a good nap. Probably will not work out because we did not get to go for a walk. I don't know. I need to see what the weather's like. Maybe we just bundle up. Anyway, let's go make lunch. As you can see, we are up for nap time. We're gonna have some play time, and then we are going to hopefully nap. We all need it. It is dreary and cold and gross. Anyway, we had our lunch and our puzzles arrived, which is very exciting. I got one that was on sale 50% off. It was Times Square, and it is it was $10, so that was great. But the other one was a four pack of like sweet dessert puzzles. And I was really excited because it came with 2000 piece puzzles, a 750 piece and a 500, which Jax could do as you can see here. Unfortunately, it arrived and it is not like that. As you can see from this picture, it is 2000 piece puzzles and two 500s. I'm not looking at it right now. so trying to remember what it just said. Yeah, so a little lame. We were kind of hoping for that 750, but it is what it is. I'm lucky to get puzzles. I saw them come up on calendars.com, so check them out and quickly went to, to purchase. I think the big pack is still there. I don't think that the sale one is still there, but you can check it out. They came reasonably fast. I mean, I was so used to and spoiled by Amazon and ordering stuff and getting it in one to two days. I could even get same day. We're just in the area where there's a lot of warehouses. But yeah, now I've gotten used to everything being out of stock, everything being back ordered, ordering from random places and having it take up to a month. I mean, I didn't used to order from Zululi much because they're so slow, but I've been ordering clothes from them because <laughs> why not? I'm not going anywhere. The days all blur together. What's three weeks? <laughs> How many weeks have we been in isolation? I don't know. We're almost hitting the two full months mark. All right, anyway, I'm gonna have him choose what he's gonna play with. We're going to play on the bed. And yeah, nap time, cross your fingers. Mm, I really need it. Thank you. 
hello how are you it is evening and we are getting Sebastian to bed Jax has a little more time but he'll be heading to bed soon too we had no nap today I think you could probably tell because you didn't see him sleeping it's been okay there's been a lot of emotions when things go wrong we've had some sobbing he did not finish his dinner and then I had to give him some of the leftovers so that he could earn a piece of candy, which he did. Anyway, let us update you. Last night I did another row from here to here of blue. So you're starting to see what my hair is gonna look like. It's like a silvery white blue. And then the rainbow will be picking out. This purple pink will be gone. Okay, can you put it back on your desk? Because I think it's going to break if you carry it around. I'm so glad you're happy to have that. I feel so <laughs> Oh, he's going to be like, oh, that thing. Please leave it here. You be like, So I got this little Rocket. kit that you had to put together from the drugstore a year ago when we went to pick up Ziggy Piggy. And I had Jax build it in the hotel with Sebastian as a little project and apparently it was terrible to put together so he was very frustrated but i'll go here way i go go again he was he definitely was so i just found that in the bag that i used and pulled it out for him as a little surprise anyway yeah I have 40 more braids to do, so I'm gonna try to do 10 more tonight. I need you to go play. Daddy can hear that you're running and he told you not to. Go play for two minutes. If you don't wanna play, then take your clothes off so we can change you. No running. All right, well, <laughs> that's going well. Anyway, I did go ahead and read up on what the governor had said. And what he said was he is extending all of the current restrictions to May 14th. One moment. I just had to have a little talk with him. He is getting worse and worse. He does this thing where he starts screaming, I can't get up, I can't get up, and laying in the middle of the floor thrashing and hitting things. So we just had a little talk. Don't think he's happy. And I'm going to guess that he's hiding behind the rocking chair because that's what he does. When you get to all that. You okay? You're gonna play now? Or are you gonna get changed? Oh, I appreciate that. No more yelling, okay? Even brother's getting ready for bed in a minute, okay? I'm sure he'll come in to say goodnight. I can I get Okay, well that went better than I thought. He actually apologized and wasn't hiding. Baby, don't interrupt. You can follow, but let me speak. So, what the governor said was, our current lockdown restrictions will be in place until, at the minimum, May 14th. So, there is a possibility that in May 15th, you need to stop talking over me, please. It is frustrating me so much, please. So there's a possibility that he might open up restaurants for dining, hair salons by appointment only. I'm not sure if you mentioned anything else. That's what the article listed. Everything would be very strict social distancing if that does open. But for now, it's just a possibility. Our numbers, we are over 20,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Virginia. Um, I forgot the deaths. I didn't look at the deaths again. Too many. And we had our highest numbers like the last two days. It finally, like today, I think our number came in slightly lower. But the day he had that news conference, we had our record number of new cases in one day. So I feel like we're still like going up. So we'll have to see what happens in the next week. I don't feel safe going out. I feel like we have to continue like this. 
but maybe at some point in a month or so I might feel more comfortable about grocery shopping or something. Cause I've literally not been in anything. I haven't gone into any buildings since March. Only my own house. I've been walking around the neighborhood and I've driven to the Target parking lot and had somebody put stuff in the back of my car. I haven't been in, inside the store or anything. It's crazy. And I feel calm about it right now. Like back in March when I was still taking turns with my husband going to the store, I had so much anxiety every time I thought about the outside world. And then when I actually did go to the grocery store, I was convinced I had it for a week. Like so convinced, you can watch those vlogs. I was convinced. But now that I haven't been going, it's kind of released a lot of that strong anxiety. I have anxiety, but it feels more distant because I, I'm somewhat protected here. We're not letting people in like outside world things that are coming in are deliveries and we like take out outside packaging and wipe down counters and wash our hands and they don't really feel that that's a way that people are contracting it just that it does last on surfaces minutely anyway that's where we are if you're in a different state or country please let me know what your current situation is what your rules are and whether people are following them. I think people are doing a fairly good job. My husband had to go to Costco today to get his medicine from the pharmacy. He said people were doing reasonably well with the masks and the distancing. He considered going to the alcohol store. I don't know what they call it. The ABC, I think. I don't drink alcohol, so I don't even know. Like the. In Virginia, they have a store that sells the liquor. Only wine and beer is sold in other places, but that government store sells the liquor. So we considered going there because like it's Cinco de Mayo and he's making a Mexican dinner. But apparently there's a really long line out front. He was like, mm, no. And he just foregoed on that. I think what he said was they're just letting one person in. They say what they want the employee gets it and then they leave and the next person goes in. So I can understand the line for that. Um, so instead of getting what he wanted there, he ended up ordering a fancy brunch for Mother's Day from a friend's restaurant that's local. We used to go there for brunch a lot on the weekends, but it just, we, we cut down on our spending. It's an expensive place and some of our favorite people who are working there and we're no longer working there. Um, he's still a great guy and we love the place. It's not a lot of food that I can eat there and this big expensive Mother's Day package is no different, but I can eat fruit, I can eat the salad. I'm hoping I can eat the potatoes. It says potato hash. So I don't know if that means it has meat in it, we'll see. Uh, and I can eat the muffins and croissants. So I might be cooking myself some eggs. The main egg entree is like a frittata and I'm pretty sure that that has like cheese and milk and stuff in it. That would be too much dairy for me. Um, there's a cheese and salmon platter, can't do any of that. And then there's a meat platter with like bacon and ham and sausage, can't do any of that. So hopefully my husband's hungry. Sebastian will eat a little bit of everything, but a little bit. He's like tiny, his stomach is small. So my husband's gonna have to eat a lot. I don't think Jax will eat anything other than things that I can actually eat, even though he can technically eat all that. So I don't know. It's my husband's birthday on Thursday and food's more important to him than it is to me. So when it came down to it, I was like, hey, I'll leave this up to you. There's enough food that I will actually be fed. So it's not a big deal to me. Order it if it makes you happy. And he did because he had the option to add on a Bloody Mary pack to it. They have changed the rules and they're able to deliver mixed drinks. I guess they, they don't mix it. They give you all the parts. But yeah, in lockdown, you can order mixed drinks. 
he did one i believe i think he did it without the alcohol that one time from the thai restaurant and he mixed it in so i'm assuming this time it's gonna come with all the parts based on the price so he's happy about that and i'm just gonna more consider it like a birthday breakfast belated birthday breakfast for him because eh, we don't usually celebrate mother's day Oh no, for daddy, we're gonna have a nice fancy breakfast on Sunday, which is Mother's Day, but we can also consider it like a late birthday breakfast for daddy, right? Well, we dinner. <laughs> well, it's gonna be breakfast, brunch. We don't really celebrate Mother's Day. Um, we don't do a, a lot of presents, just for like Christmas and the kids' birthdays. I do get some little things from my husband for his birthday and sometimes he gets me stuff too but sometimes we just do a trip for our birthdays and that's the present. Baby don't talk over. Can you start getting undressed? So yeah usually on Mother's Day we are in a car stuck in traffic and driving home from the beach. I like the drive to the beach. It's always chill. We're excited to be there. The traffic's not bad. Um, even when it's raining, it's really, I like it. I just knit a lot. But yeah, the way back always is like double the amount of time because we're stuck in traffic and it's Mother's Day and I'm grumpy <laughs> and we're leaving the beach, but irrelevant. We're not going this year. We would be there right now. And it's raining, it's raining there. Hi, what's that face for? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. Yeah. Guy, guy, my O face. Your O face? Yeah. It's <laughs> a weird thing to say. All right, guys, I'm going to say goodnight to you and won't make you listen to me any longer. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I make these for myself in the future and for my friends and family. So, hi, guys. Glad you can keep up with us, especially now that nobody's going anywhere. Good night, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy and happy, and don't forget to wash your hands. Wash your hair!